inviting me. Um, when I was um, given this, is that the way forward? It's all right, I've got it, Claudia. Um, so I was, I was given this question, best place, worst place, and then I thought, well, uh, my favourite place, let's start with people, because that's where you get a place. So if I tell you a place where the community is active, shows resilience against diverse adversity, helps the early, elderly, encourages the young to stay in the community, connects with the environment, shares resources, provides education and learning in order to keep traditions, it is a good place. You think, wow, this must be a brilliant community. And then uh, I show you the community. This is Red Puna. They are located in the border between Argentina and Bolivia. It's a community of farmers, and they live in very small uh, towns. And they share everything. They share activities. They share timetables. As you can see the visit from London that was us, my team with the Architecture for Humanity that we went to work with them. And they do uh, craft. They share everything. And they share water. These people live in a high plateau area, and if you think that we're suffering climate change here at this level, imagine what it's like when you're 3,000 meters above sea level. So they're having huge climate uh, problems, water shortage, and if you think about water and life, there is no food in the region, so they have to get together as a community and start building uh, ways, uh, developing ways to get water and to share those resources. So they have a lot of environmental awareness. They are very connected to the land. Uh, they, get, uh, they get the materials for building <coughs> from around the, the area. They get the livelihood, the llamas that they breed in the area. And they make um, textiles and other crafts from, uh, this, uh, from the llama. So the landscape that you go and see is very much connected to the area because they use adobe bricks and regional materials. And they, are, they also adopted uh, the colonial style that was inherited when um, the Spanish arrived. So um, when you go and engage with these people, we, we try to find the storytellers of the community. It talks about the, 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 the bridges between us and the community. And so this is, it's very important when you go to these places to find these characters and they are the ones that are going to tell you the best stories and they are going to tell you the dreams. And we find that these people have lots of dreams and they have lots of stories and they have lots of ideas of the future of their cities and how to become more resilient and stay in the place. Um, it's not easy. Sometimes we encounter some difficulties during the workshops. There were points in the workshops where I was thinking we are not going anywhere here and we're going to end up with nothing. But you've got to overcome with that and engage with them. Um, Olga was saying that you do a lot of walking. We did a lot of walking with these people. And through the walks they were telling us uh, what, their, what were their concerns and how, how they live. And they were showing us their city. We also engaged with them in workshops. Um, they told us and they draw. We handed over the pencil to them, and they were the ones drawing exactly how they wanted the, their communities and how they wanted the city. Um, we also engaged with the play, laugh, and food, eating together. That's a, that's a nice way of building relationships with communities, and that's what we did. So when I ask you, uh, you have the perfect community there, and you can say, well, they must be in a lovely place. But uh, if I tell you about where they live, they have lots of problems. This is a region where the mining companies, international mining companies, are really strong. Um, the main source in the, the main mining is lithium. And if you think about lithium, it's what they, they use to build uh, batteries, particularly for cars. And if you think about cars, going more sustainable, that means making batteries for car. So one, one we, we get more sustainable here, we are cutting the livelihood of these people. So we need to think about global sustainability here. And they get external aid. They get government aid and they, get, they have given these houses that the government is building all the way from Patagonia <coughs> up to the north. No, no regards for different in climate change or different in, in, in different temperatures in the region. And um, this is what they want. When we ask them, what do you want? They want adobe brick houses, and they want places that they can show their identity through them. So my question here is, uh, they have the best community, but not the best place, because they are not, the planners in there, the urbanists, are not tapping into the community to find out what do they want uh, as a place. 
So the challenge is that now you've got to become uh, engaging with people, you've got to become enablers between different organizations and make that happen. So that's the challenge for you.